Hi, I'm Matt from Seco Wine Club. Pier Giorgio Castellani from Castellani Winery, Tuscany, Italy. Today, I've got Pier Giorgio in my kitchen talking about what's in your wine. All of our wines are coming through our, our wine club that are offered are going to be lab tested. Mm -hmm. um, you know, testing for the 75 chemicals, testing for uh, sugar levels. All of our wines have less than three grams of sugar per bottle. Uh, the ABVs are below, you know, 12, 13% uh, ABV. One of the things we always are questioned on, and I, I get this literally every day, is sulfites, right? And it's, you know, I, I, can I drink your wine? I'm, I have a sulfite allergy. I get really bad headaches. And, you know, we kind of all talk about it, like we chuckle a little bit. And it's like, you know, if you, if you really knew what, what sulfites, the reaction was, it's really more of skin irritation and some respiratory issues. Mm -hmm. You know, what the connotation with sulfites is really to the head. Mm -hmm. um, you know, knowing what you know, what would you say is uh, really contributing to some of these head issues mm -hmm. uh, from wine consumption? Normally, this kind of reaction are connected, first of all, with a specific uh, sensibility to sulfites. Uh, but second, and uh, th this is the most important thing to understand, to the uh, to the fact that many uh, wine producers do not uh, control the quantity of sulfites that they add to the wine. They just use a formula and most of the time they add the too much sulfites in the wine because the sulfites, first of all, is naturally uh, mm, content in a wine. It, a little bit of sulfites come from the natural fermentation of the wine. But that is not the level that can generate any kind of uh, allergic reaction. Um, we don't know when a bottle of wine will be dry. So we want to avoid uh, uh, the oxidation of the wine. Oxidation is related to the quantity of oxygen that is inside the wine uh, and goes in the wine during the process of blending, transferring the wine through the pumps, bottling. During this process, a, quanti a, quant a certain quantity of oxygen is mixed together with the wine. Producer add sulfites in the wine because the molecule of the sulfites combine with the molecule of oxygen and they kill each other, okay? Uh, so if I control the quantity of oxygen that I have in the wine, then I can add the exact quantity of sulfides that I need to control the oxygen in the wine. So I will obtain a wine that is not oxidated and do not contain sulfides at the same time. So, there is nothing wrong with adding sulfites to the wine. It's a way to protect the quality of the wine from the risk of oxidation. What is wrong is do not have a uh, technology that permits you to detect the quantity of oxygen you have in the wine. Because this permits you to add the exact quantity of sulfides that will disappear in the moment that they fix with the quantity of oxygen that you have. So you don't want oxygen, you don't want sulfides. You have to know how much oxygen you have to add the exact quantity of sulfides. So a wine that is produced through this technology will not generate any kind of reaction because you will always drink a wine that is not oxidated and do not contain sulfites anymore. And so wh where do you feel or where do you know that a lot of this uh, con concerns about head issues are coming from from wine? Is it, if it's not sulfites, wh what's causing uh, these issues? Looking at this beautiful thing over here, all of the flavors and the colors that we, you have here is normally in the flavor of a wine. Wine is so intriguing because 
sometimes is so much complex. Uh, to protect all of this complexity, you need to have a very nice balance and equilibrium in all of the flavors and the elements that naturally uh, um, are contained in a, in a wine. So, uh, but for many reasons, uh, there are so many additives that are added to the wine that is nothing to do with all of this beauty and to all of this complexity and they are there to correct something that is wrong to increase for example sometimes the mouth feeling in order to have more viscosity in the wine and to because for some reason people love something that is silky but wine is not naturally silky but if you have a poor flavor, you try to enhance the flavor adding things. You want to have more color. Why you want to have more color in a wine? People love rosé, for example. Why you want to add something that is not naturally there? You interfere in the natural complexity of the wine and everything that unbalance the wine will unbalance your system interesting yeah no, it makes sense makes yeah. complete sense <laughs>